Hello, I am Dr. Mary Jo Ruggieri. I'm a holistic health professional and welcome to Staying Well with Dr. Mary Jo. The science of energy involves health, happiness, and balancing stress and what we're doing is to in this series is to show you how to use energy effectively. And the energy process of balancing energy is so important. Stress is the key number one thing to disease and conditions and stress starts with an imbalance in your electrical system. It's like your circuit breakers. You now you are all vibration. We are an energetic being, you know, and this is something that we have to work with if we are going to stay and prevent, prevent diseases. Reflexology is one of the key energy practices that is so accurate and so effective. You can do body reflexology, which is what polarity therapy is about. Yes, we have Reiki, we have Shiatsu, we have you know, yoga, meditation, all that. All of those, and people love them now, is because they're balancing the energy system. So today, I'm going to show you one of the basics with foot reflexology. But we look at the whole system of all of the points on the feet. We look at them energetically. We look at the elements. In our series two, we talked about how energy steps down and how it manifests at the physical level. The toes have five toes and they represent what we call the qualities of energy and the elements, ether, air, fire, water, earth. So often you will find that these certain organs, whether we're talking about the spine, which reflexes on the inside of the foot, whether they're talking about the head that reflexes on top or the sinuses, those are areas of referral, as vibrational referrals, what you call long meridian lines or referrals. We also know how to do, we can go into a point on the ether toe and do a nice contact and that reflexes to the sinuses. And oftentimes you will find that the body relates to itself and it reflexes to each other. When we do work on the spine, we can open up the side of the foot and we can just go and each vertebrae, and it's so accurate. And the whole, and remember, your body is very integrated and it starts out with vibration and pulses so they, you can read it. The foot reading and the foot mapping and the reflexology is very powerful. So as we do and as we work on doing the reflex points, even to hold a point and make a contact. Now I showed you, especially with electromagnetic force and as energy has to move, you have to have a positive, neutral, and negative contact. We know those on the feet. We know those in the body. So before a disease manifests on a physical level, we can get the clues and you have the clues that give you a sense of something's, the circuit breakers are not right here. Something's too much, something's too little. And an energy practitioner is the most key to staying well. As we work with these points, we also do pressure points. We can do, if you look here, we can do the colon reflex points here. And we have such knowledge in Ayurvedic medicine and Chinese medicine with the elements of what the body and how the body is integrated and how it re responds and reflexes to itself. I can just move right here and do certain points, which will reflex to the colon energy lines and the areas. If I find certain knots, I can usually tell, is there a restriction here? You know, energy has to flow, like your circuit breakers in your house. It's like tying a knot in a hose and expecting the water to go through. But this is what happens, is that diseases start with these types of stressors in the body. So any of the reflex points, as you work with them, any of these reflex points will help stimulate and balance. Sometimes we can just do certain areas of the feet where we might ring them on the top of the toes. You will find there are lymphatic points that you can hold and, and push. And those again reflex. So when we talk about reflexology, it's a whole science behind body reflexology. There's a whole science behind the whole idea that the body is interrelated. Why would we think that you have a sick stomach and you, and you get a migraine or you're, you hurt your back and you're angry? You know, there's so much correlation between the mind, the emotions, the body, and the spirit. So to stay well, one of the areas that we're trying to focus on is for us to understand that we are energetic beings and that we can predict and see stress and stressors in the body at the energy level first before they will ever manifest at the physical level. So stay well and find a good energy practitioner. Thank you.